Now that all of you have some of the basic skills that you need to proceed along in this class, we're going to start getting into more of the meat of the material for the year. And we're going to go into chapter four, which is about motion. A goal is going to be to understand what this is. And in fact, let's take a look at the learning goals for the first chapter. So the first section we're doing is 4.1, position, speed, and velocity. Today we're going to talk about position. And we'll come back to speed and velocity a little bit later, uh, probably in the week. So your learning goals will be two for today. The first one is explain the meaning of motion. That one, in fact, we're going to use as a learning goal for each of the videos in these parts. So you're not going to be able to fully comprehend it with just the information about position. But once we throw in speed, throw in velocity, get it all mixed up, it'll start to make more sense. The other one, uh, the bigger one for this video is describe an object's position relative to a reference point. So when we're trying to understand the physics of how something operates, we like to start out with how does it move? Very simply, how is it getting around? And specifically, we are looking at first how it changes its position. So what does that word position mean? Position is a variable given relative to an origin. So where you are, where something is within space. The origin, so you know, is the place where position equals zero. So looking at that diagram down below, you can see we have an origin at zero centimeters. And notice that there's a car resting at 50 centimeters. That is the position of the car. Position is a variable given relative to an origin. So it's 50 centimeters away from the origin. Also, if you would, just go ahead and draw that diagram. It doesn't have to be exactly what it is, but just draw it down so you have a general idea. You can look back at this and see what's going on. So position and distance are similar, but they're not the same. We've talked about distance before. Distance is how far something has moved from point A to point B. And specifically, we're looking at, again in this diagram below, if that car, which was at position 50, moves to a new position, say position 70, its distance, or it has a distance, it is traveled. So if the car moves, it will go a distance of 20 centimeters, and it will have a brand new position relative to the origin of 70 centimeters. You've got distance, you've got position. Those are two things that will start to describe an object's motion. Position being, where are you from original origin? Original origin. <laughs> where are you from the origin? And Distance is the amount of ground or space covered from start to finish. Uh, it's good to note that I will be using a term displacement from time to time, and we're going to talk about it more in class. Displacement is another word for position, but it can actually mean a bit more. We'll describe that as we go on throughout the week. So that is going to be it for this evening's video. I'll see you guys in class where we're going to work on this and we're going to apply this to a coordinate plane or a graph in class. So, see you later.